Yeah, hi there, and uh, you made a comment at my YouTube channel. I put together a video a couple of days ago for an online student who needs to get a score of 90 but has never taken the TOEFL test before. And I gave that student one simple suggestion that the student needs to take a full-length IBT practice test so that he or she can mark the progress and get subtotal scores in the reading, listening, speaking, and writing, right? So you watch that video, and then you made this comment here. So you say, hi, I took the TOEFL two months ago, and my scores were reading 11, listening 18, speaking 23, writing 22. You say, I need to score 100. How could I do that? How can I improve my reading fast? I want to take the TOEFL in July 16th. I would say here on July. <coughs> Use the preposition on because you have the day and the month, I think, there. So, first of all, you cannot improve your reading fast. That's my first suggestion. It's just not going to happen. So how can you go from your score here 74 to 100? And your question is, you want to go from 74 to 100 in 30 days. It's not possible. So you're not going to be able to do that. So uh, let me go ahead and give you some suggestions, though, nevertheless. So you may or may not like my advice, but I'll give it to you anyway. I've been teaching TOEFL for about 22 years. I am a professor here at California State University, San Bernardino. And also, I've been teaching online for the last uh, six or seven years. All right, first of all, let's talk about improving reading. So the first thing is, is you can't really improve your reading quickly. There are five specific things that you have to do in order to improve your reading, and I will outline them step by step. First of all, you want to get in the habit of reading every day for about 45 minutes. My suggestion is that you read magazines, newspapers, and longer books. The second thing, in addition to reading every day for about 45 minutes, choosing the reading materials you have an interest in, and ignoring all TOEFL books, I wouldn't even use TOEFL books at this point, the second thing you want to do is to improve your vocabulary. That's going to be very, very helpful for your reading. Now, my suggestion is, if you join my online TOEFL course, now, the main thing is, do not join my course if you think you're going to reach your goal in 30 days, because I'm telling you, you're not. However, if you're patient, and you understand that improving your English takes time, probably a minimum of three to six months before you're going to reach your goal, then of course you can join my course. So what you want to do is, is start learning the vocabulary words in my vocabulary lesson number three, four, five, and six. That will help you get access to 1,700 college level words. You need to learn those words. That's the second thing you want to do. My third suggestion is you need to improve your reading speed to a minimum of 350 words per minute. In this case, if you join my online TOEFL course, you want to go to the reading part of my course and start with my first reading practice test at 100 words a minute. Each practice test is five words more than the additional reading passage, so it goes from 100 to 105 to 110 to 115 to 120, all the way to 350 words per minute. You want to concentrate on improving your reading speed to 350 words per minute. My fourth suggestion, this is the one that everybody wants to do first, but it's my fourth suggestion, not my first suggestion. So my fourth suggestion is, you need to become familiar with the TOEFL IBT reading question types and the strategies for answering these kinds of questions. So if you join my online TOEFL course, again, go to the reading section of my course and reading um, TOEFL reading lesson number two, three, four, and five, these first few lessons, they will get you used to the IBT question types and how to answer these kinds of questions. That's my fourth suggestion. My fifth suggestion is to complete TOEFL level reading practice tests so you can mark your progress. 
There it is. It's it. It is that simple. I gave this advice to a student about six months ago. He followed these five steps for two and a half months. He increased his reading score seven points. But even if you do that, you're still not high enough. You're only at 18 points. That's what I'm talking about. You just don't have enough time. 30 days is not enough time for you to reach your goal. Your goal is to improve your reading to at least 25 points out of 30. That means that you need to more than double your reading score right now. You see what I'm saying? But that's it. I guarantee you, if you do these five suggestions, read extensively every day, study vocabulary, improve your reading speed, become familiar with the reading question types and strategies for answering them, and then take some TOEFL-level reading practice tests to mark your progress. If you can do those things, but focus 80% of your time right now on the first three suggestions. Suggestion four and five are not that important. The most important suggestions to meaningfully improve your reading are my suggestions one through three. You see what I'm saying? So that's exactly how you can improve your reading by following those five steps. All right, so now let's address the other questions. So I, I gave you five suggestions of how you can improve your reading. Now let's talk about overall. The question is, how do you improve your score from 74 to 100? Now keep in mind, for every point that you want to get higher, in any section, it's about 45 hours of study. Think about that for a minute. And let me just put it in perspective another way. If you study two to three hours every day, for 30 days, you can probably improve about five points in your overall TOEFL score if you're consistent. If you study every now and then and you're studying, you're not, sometimes you are, sometimes you're not, you're not going to go anywhere, of course. All right, so let's address this question. How do you go from 74 to 100, right? And like I'm saying, my suggestion is three to six months is, is the time span you're looking at. Right? If you just try to do everything in 30 days, you're going to be spinning your wheels. You're not going to reach your goal. Because if, you, if, you, if you're trying to do everything in 30 days, you're not going to focus very much on building your academic English language proficiency. You'll simply focus a lot on trying to trick the test. You'll just take a lot of practice tests and so on. But you won't really build your English. And that's not really going to do it either. To get over 100 is a very, very special group of people. These are people who have sacrificed. They've sacrificed a lot in order to reach that goal. They didn't just do it just by accident. Okay, here are my suggestions. So already you're reading every day for 45 minutes, am I right? Well, you need to do exactly the same thing with your listening. You need to listen, practice listening for about 30 to 45 minutes every day. My suggestion is focus on news, documentary, history, and especially science programs. So as you're doing your reading and your listening practice, you should get in the habit of note-taking. So focus on the main and the most important supporting points of the reading and the listening passages. Right? That's important. Now using your notes, you should also practice speaking and writing about this information. This is very, very important. So what you can do is after you've done some reading and listening practice and you've gotten maybe a page of notes down on those reading materials, then you can practice speaking about the information. My recommendation is to do three to five oral responses each week. I even suggest that you record these responses so that you can listen to them later on and you can check for your pronunciation, you can check your language use, and also your topic development. Now, in addition to speaking about this information, you should also write about these reading and listening passages using your notes. It's also important. What's my suggestion? I suggest write three 250-word academic summaries each week. That's going to be very, very helpful for you, so you want to get used to writing about other people's ideas. Right? So those are suggestions there. Now, my next part of the video... I want to talk about how you can use my online TOEFL course. Notice I haven't said anything really 
about using my online TOEFL course, at least not in, at this segment of the video. In the beginning of the video, I did tell you some things you can do on my website to improve your reading. Remember that? But let's talk about generally how you can use my online TOEFL course to reach your goal. So think about it kind of like this. Think about a website that has over 700 vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, listening, reading, writing, and speaking lessons. Think about that for a minute. So you got lessons in all those areas. So in addition to anything I've already said in the video, here are my suggestions for you. So my plan for you is to go from 74 to 100 to help you reach that goal. Remember, you can't do it in 30 days. You probably can't even do it in three months, right? Now, if you told me, Michael, my score right now is 95 and I want to get 100, then I would recommend a 30-day TOEFL study plan for you. But you're too far away from that. That's not where you are right now. So we have to be realistic. We have to look at what your abilities are right now and the kinds of things that you need to do in order to make the improvements that you need to make to reach that goal of 100. You see what I'm saying? So here's your plan. It's very simple. So if you do decide to join my course, I'll be more than happy to have you as a student. Now remember that a lot of students, they may use TOEFL books, they may use intensive English programs or whatever the case, but they will not get the kind of feedback that you will get from me as you complete your speaking and writing practice test. That's one of the main reasons people join my online course is they want to get feedback. You see what I'm saying? What am I talking about? Let me just show you something for a minute. Uh, let me go over to my Voxipop group for just a second. Can you see this? Now all these students that you see here this is just from yesterday, from the last 24 hours. One, we got Mabix, Shembesh, D879, Harpreet, D879 again. We have Mabix here. All these people have posted speaking practice tests. This guy's doing some pronunciation practice he wants me to give him feedback on. And guess what? I get feedback to all these people today, 24 hours after they post their speaking and pronunciation practice online, they hear from me. That's how it works, and I will do exactly the same thing for you. All right, so let's keep going here. Okay, so here's how you want to use my course. Here's my recommendation. Now remember that when you become one of my students, you can use my course any way you like. You have complete unlimited access to all 700 of my TOEFL lessons. You have access to everything. And remember, it's not just a whole bunch of lessons that are posted at a website. I help you build your English in seven areas, right? So my recommendation here is to complete the vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar sections of my course first. You need to do that before you do anything. Because your English skills are not that good right now, so you need to work on those three basic sections of my course. That will probably take about three months right there. Now, once you've done the first three sections of my course, then you can focus your time on the listening and the reading parts of my course. That'll probably take another one or two months. And then finally, you can focus on the really, really important parts of my course, the writing and the speaking areas. And guess what? I can take your writing all the way to 29 to 30 points out of uh, 30 there. I can do that. I had somebody just like you uh, his writing score when I met him was 21 and within two months period he completed over 35 different writing practice tests on my website and he improved eight points. He went from 21 to 29 out of 30 on the actual TOEFL IBT. He did it because he practiced. He worked really, really hard. That's how he did it. I can even help you with your speaking. I can probably take this up three or four points. I can get you to maybe 26 27 points out of 30, but remember, the only way you're going to improve your speaking is you have to you have to post your responses at my discussion group every day, and you got to follow my suggestions. I will point out whatever language use, pronunciation, and, and uh, topic development issues you're having. I'll even tell you what you can do in my online course to get better. 
so there it is. So those are my suggestions for you. Uh, I apologize for being so direct, but remember, I've been teaching for many, 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 many years. I understand about second language acquisition. I know how the TOEFL works. I know how students improve. I have coached. I have taught thousands and thousands of students offline and online at my online TOEFL course. All right. Anyway, have a great day.